Aaron here back for another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to change a flat tire on your dirt bike the easy way DIY style at home. So let's jump into it. All right, now today we got the KLX 140 back. As you guys would know, if you came up on our last ride, we got an absolutely flat tire here and we am pretty sure we blew up the tube. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to pull the tire off. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is put this up on the stand, just like so. All right, and just like that, we got it on the stand. Let's go ahead, let's put it up in the air. All right, and just like that, we got it up in the air. So let's go ahead and let's just pull this back wheel off like this. All right, just like that, we got the tire off. So let's go ahead, let's stick it up on the bench and let's get to it. All right, now it's up on the bench. Now we're gonna work on getting the tire off the rim here. But first, let's go over a couple tips. Now there's gonna be two things that you're gonna really wanna have to do this. Now you can totally do it without them, but it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. The first thing being a spray bottle, and we'll get to that in a second. And the second thing is a set of tire spoons, preferably three if you have them. Now, if you don't have tire spoons, trust me, I've done this a bunch with screwdrivers. It's totally possible. Now there's a wrong, wrong way to do it and a right, wrong way to do it. Now here we got laid out some screwdrivers like normal. People would pick up some screwdrivers, use a couple of these, pop the tire off, boom, bada bing. Now there's a couple here that I would use and there's a couple here that I absolutely would not use. So let's go over and just quickly talk about why, which screwdriver you should use if you're gonna use screwdrivers instead of a tire iron. So here we have our assortment of screwdrivers. First off the rip, I'm just gonna say these three right here, I would use these three. All of these are good ones. And you can tell we've actually made these as tire spoons and we didn't have tire spoons. We've actually gone over and dulled the tips so they are no longer sharp. So you're not gonna by accidentally poke through your tube. So this is what you wanna use is one that's big. These are solid screwdrivers. They're not gonna flex. They're not gonna break and poke you out in the eye when they snap when you're putting huge leverage because you need to put a lot of weight on the screwdriver. These three, these are all okay. They're not sharp. The tips are nice and dull. These are what you wanna use if you're not gonna use the proper tool of a tire iron. So this is the right way. This is the right wrong way. And any of these three screwdrivers here are just dead right the wrong, wrong way. This first screwdriver here is definitely gonna be the wrong way because it is sharp as hell on the tip. This one's obviously just not gonna help you. It's a Phillips, don't even try it. You're gonna ruin your screwdriver and it's not gonna work very well. So don't use this either. And last but not least, don't use some spindly little thing. This thing's gonna bend. As you can see, it's already got a bend and it. it is not straight. This is exactly what you don't wanna use. This is what's gonna break and go right into your eyeball. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna jump into showing you what the bottle is for. Now this is just a run of the mill bottle, nothing special about it. All we're gonna do is put some soapy water in it. So some water, a little bit of generic soap, and this is gonna be your lubricant and it's gonna make it way, way easier. Do you need it? No. Is it gonna make your life a whole hell of a lot easier? Yes, especially if this is your first time changing a tire on a dirt bike, they can be a total pain in the butt, especially the smaller the wheel it is, the harder it is. So you're gonna to wanna to get some soapy water in a spray bottle. The spray bottle just helps to get it all over the place and get everything nice and soapy. All right, now the very first thing we're gonna do is come over to the valve stand them. Now, if your tire did have air in it and it wasn't a flat tube and you're just changing the tire itself, you're gonna wanna take the valve cap off, go in there and deflate the tire and you wanna leave about like one to 5% of air. You want a little bit of air left in the tube, but not completely flat or you can risk pinching it. When it's flat, it can just easily fold over on itself inside the tire and then you can pinch flat it. So go ahead, take out all the air, and then you're gonna loosen this nut right here that's gonna release the valve stems so that the tube can come out of the rim. And then we're gonna work our way over and we're also gonna take this 12 mil nut off this rim lock here and that's gonna release so that the rubber can actually separate from the rim as a rim lock simply pinches the rubber to the rim. So let's go ahead, let's take this off and the valve stem. Now to be able to remove this tire easily and not totally struggle the entire time, we have to break the seal around the edge of the tire where it seals up against the rim and actually push the tire inwards so that it can sit in the center groove that's in the rim so it actually gives us enough room and enough pliability and enough stretch on the tire so we can actually fold it up and over the outer lip of the rim to take the tire off. So to do that, all we're gonna do is just get on the tire, we're gonna push down and we're gonna shove the tire downward so it breaks the seal off this and we're just gonna work our way around the tire we're just gonna keep spinning it and keep pushing down around the whole entire tire. And then we're gonna flip the tire over and we're gonna do the same thing. And then both sides of the tire should be pushed into the center and we can actually get the leverage we need to be able to pull it off. Perfect. And we're just gonna start working the soapy water in around the entire perimeter of the tire on both sides. And once again, this is just a lubricant to help the tire slide and it just makes your life a lot easier. Don't be shy with the lube. It's really important that you're getting the, the liquid or lubricant inside the lip of the tire where you're gonna be prying against on the rim. This also helps prevent any rim damage as well by having lubrication. 
Now this is where the real like of doing this once or twice comes into in effect and making it way easier or way harder. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is grab a spot. Usually I start away from wherever the rim guard is at the opposite end. Go to the opposite end of the rim guard. And I just do that for easeability. If you wanna stick the hooked end, the one that has a sharp hook in it, I'm gonna stick that down onto the tire. We're gonna look what we're doing. We're gonna stick it on the edge. And we're gonna pull a lip up just like that. Then we can stick it underneath our disc here to stop it from popping back up. And we're gonna grab another one. And this is why you definitely want three. Now the key is, is not going too far apart and not going too close together. So you need to make, you, you, you'll learn this as you do it on how the distance is. And it kind of takes a second learn every single time you do this. We just keep her lubed up. You're gonna stick her in there. You're gonna find somewhere that it kind of wants to wedge itself down in. All right, you get another one started in there. If you guys are struggling, don't worry. I struggle too. This thing, it is quite difficult to do this. Now getting the third one and this, this is real, this is really the most difficult part is getting this first lip started. Once you got majority of the wheel starting to come off, the rest of it comes off easy, but it's getting these first couple ones started that can be a total pain in the butt. Boom. Now once you feel that one come over, this one wants to stay pushing down. We've got leverage taken off this one here in the middle. And now we can start slowly working away around the edge of the tire. Once again, it comes down to being easy or hard, grabbing the right spot of the tire. Now you can see the lip of the rubber right down in here. So what you're looking for is right about here, the rubber is below this lip and then up towards here, the rubber is all the way to the outside edge of the rim. So you're looking to go in between those two points where it goes from being the rubbers down in the center of the tire to the rubber being still at the outer lip, which is right about here. And then grab that and we can fold that guy up and over. Now we're just gonna stick our tire irons in. We're gonna continue around the rest of this way and pop this tire off. When you get to a certain spot, you might even just be able to pry the tire with your fingers with the soapy water. You just run your hand along underneath. Just like that. There we go, we've broken the seal on one side of the tire. So once again, we're gonna go to the opposite side of the rim guard because it just makes life easier. And you're gonna pull up on the rim and push down on the tire. And then we're gonna, what we really would like to do is get the tube out of the way, especially if your tube is still in decent shape. You're gonna wanna pull the tube out of the way. Me personally, I'm just replacing my tube. I'm not changing tires. I'm keeping this tire for a little bit longer yet. I just got a flat tire on my last ride, so I don't need to pull the rest of the tire off. But if you were going to, this would be when you do it. And just like that, you would have there pulled out your tube from your tire. I'm not sure where the flat is, but a really easy way to find out where the flat is in the tube, if you don't know, fill this up with air, even though it's got a leak, fill it up with air, stick it in some water and watch wherever the bubbles come out and then you can figure out where the leak is in the tube. Now, if you guys aren't already feeling like some official zip tie mechanics, go ahead and pick your shirt up down below, merch in the description box and in the comment section below, pick yours up, lots of other designs. Let's get back to the video. So here we got a little patch kit. We're gonna patch the tire and we're gonna fix this up, slap it back in and keep the new one that we bought as a spare in case this one was totally destroyed that we had an extra slap in for tomorrow's ride. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna fill this with air. All right, now that that's filled up with air, you'd go ahead and stick this in the water and find wherever the bubbles are coming from, wherever your bubbles are, those are the holes. But I already found them. There's a double pinch flat hole right here. As you can see, it's already deflated. That's how quick this tire deflated when I was out on the trail with these two pinch flats. All right, so now we got our two holes mapped out. They're right there and right there. So the first thing you're gonna do is grab our little patch kit and there should be something that looks like this that's like a cheese grater. And all we're gonna do is take that cheese grater like thing and we're just gonna rub it over those holes. And all this doing is scratching up the rubber, which gives the patch something to stick to. This is just like patching up a bicycle tire if you've done that before. You're just roughing up the surface so that the patch has something really to adhere to. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna scuff these up real good. Now we got those scuffed up, we're just gonna go ahead and give them a quick little spray and wipe down just so that they're clean. Once again, as I'm sure you know, you want something clean for this to wipe off. You need something clean for this to adhere to. And you got this little package of glue here and you're gonna spread the glue over and we're gonna go ahead and stick the patch over it, rub it down real and nice and good patch. and you're done. That's simple. 
So if we wanted to pull the rest of the tire off so we could actually swap tires, we just squeeze down here. We get a little bit of that room right there. We'd stick one of these guys right down in through here, right all the way through, and then just pry down. And as you pull that down, that's gonna pull the tire completely off the rim. Now you guys know that we're not doing that and then we just got a flat tire. So we're gonna be replacing the tube. Now instead of replacing the tube, as you guys saw, we went and did a patch kit. This has been out here drying for a little while now. That's all dried up. So we're gonna stick that back in the tire. Now there's one thing that's super important to note before you stick the tube back in the tire and that is to make sure that you inflate the tire just so it's got air in it so you don't pinch it once again when you try and install it and ruin the tube and put another hole in it and then have to do this process all over again and not know until it's back in the bike. So we're just gonna put a little bit of air in that tube and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start feeding it back in the tire and we're gonna do everything the exact same way we did in reverse. All right, and then just like that, we got the tire back on the bike. It's all set up. You're ready to rock and roll and get back out on the trail. So just like that, one, two, three, bang, 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 done, son. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you go down below, click that like button, click subscribe for more. If you guys learn something new, make sure you let me know down in the comment section. Definitely curious to know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.